Hi everyone and welcome back to Rose to Forever. I'm Terry and in this video we're going to talk about Daniel Fast meal ideas for lunch and dinner. So if you've already seen our other two videos, you know that this is video number three in our Daniel Fast series. Our first video was about how to do the Daniel Fast and our second video was all about Daniel Fast breakfast recipe. So if you haven't watched those videos, make sure that you click the link in the description box to check out those videos. Also, in those videos, you'll notice that there is a link to a Daniel Fast food list PDF. And what that does is it talks about what the Daniel Fast is. It gives you a list of all the foods you can have on the Daniel Fast. And it also has the breakfast recipes. In today's video, in the description, there's also going to be a Daniel Fast food list PDF. And it will also have all of the recipes, including the recipes that we're going to make in this video. So if you're excited for the Daniel Fast and you're excited to check out these lunch and dinner recipe ideas, make sure you're giving us a like and let's dive right into the video. All right guys, so here are all the items you're gonna need for your Daniel Fast lunch recipes and Daniel Fast dinner recipes. And these Daniel Fast um, recipes are interchangeable, so you can either have them for your lunch or you can have them for dinner. So it's really up to you. And one of the things you guys know from my Daniel Fast breakfast recipes videos is that I like to use items that are packed with nutrients because the only thing I wanna be hungry for on the Daniel Fast is God and not food. So I am picking items which I know will help me to stay feeling full throughout the day. So these items that you see are packed with fiber to help you feeling full or also to clean out your gut. Um, they are also packed with pre, uh, prebiotics as well which are good for your gut, and they're packed with protein, um, vitamins, and minerals. So again, making sure that all my items are very nutritious and that I'm going to be feeling full throughout the day. So the first thing that you'll see here is that I have some um, dried cranberries, and make sure again that the only ingredient here is cranberry and no sugar has been added. Some slivered almonds, again, you know your almonds, are healthy fats in them, so healthy fats to keep you feeling full long. You have your onion, I have a cucumber, I have some um, baby kale, a lemon, and some mango chunks, and the mango chunks are not a must have in the lemon. I'm gonna use them to make a salad dressing because again, I like flavor in my food, but you could just make a salad dressing by using extra virgin olive oil, salt, and pepper, but I'm just gonna spice it up a little bit. I also have a sweet potato. Um, you might see these in the stores as yams. So these are packed with um, beta carotene, which converts to vitamin A, so that's really good for your eye. I also have um, an apple. The last video, you know I had a honey crisp apple in the breakfast, the Daniel Fast breakfast um, video, but here we're gonna use a gala apple. I have some red bell peppers. You could use a yellow bell pepper, orange, or even green, but I have red because that's what I picked up at the store. I also have um, some black beans. And so as you can see from the ingredients label, um, this is only black beans and water. So when you're doing the Daniel Fast, make sure that you're reading the ingredients label to make sure there's nothing added that shouldn't be here. So um, again, this is just black beans. And you'll see sometimes it'll say sodium um, or salt on the can. So just make sure if you're picking up like the low sodium versions of the black bean that you rinse them off so that way you can decrease the salt content, especially if you're someone who has high blood pressure. So keep that in mind. Again, I have corn and see for the ingredients um, list, you'll see it's just corn and water. So again, make sure that when you're doing your Daniel fast, you're really paying attention to your ingredients list. Um, I also have some unsweetened coconut milk here as well. And you guys know that I love uh, to use coconut milk um, or just coconut in general. So coconut milk has healthy fats. Again, it's gonna keep you feeling full long. It's gonna add a really good flavor um, to your meals. Um, I have some spices. You don't have to use these spices I'm using, but these are just what I like. I have cumin, I have um, some oregano, uh, garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, and salt. And I also have turmeric as well, because I like to add turmeric because it has anti-inflammatory properties. So it's great for you. Um, and so these are all the different things I'm using for my Daniel Fast recipes. If you are liking these items, uh, make sure you're giving this video a thumbs up so that I can know to continue making more awesome videos just like this. I was actually going to make a soup recipe, but I just didn't want this video to be super long. So for now, we're not going to make 
any soup recipes, but these are all things that you can make pretty easily. And with all of these ingredients that you see here, um, it will make all of the recipes that you need um, for the week. And so you don't have to buy anything extra. Everything here is all you'll need for these recipes. So let's jump right in and make our first Daniel Fast recipe. Quinoa is another ingredient that we're also going to be using for our Daniel Fast recipes. So add this to everything else that we just discussed. And quinoa also has fiber and has protein. So this is going to be awesome on your Daniel Fast. So for our first recipe, what I have in this bowl is two cups of baby kale. All I did was rinse off that kale and then pat dry it with a paper towel so to get rid of the excess water. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take half a tablespoon of olive oil and I'm just going to pour that right on top of the kale and then I'm going to massage it into that olive oil right into the kale. So I'm just going to pour that over it and then I'm going to use my hands which are nice and clean. I'm just going to massage the kale with the olive oil. So this will kind of soften it and trust me it will make a difference um, than if you were to just wash the kale and eat it just like that. All right so I'm just going to keep massaging that olive oil into the kale and so you can see it looks nice already, so I'm really excited to just guys. Trust me, it's going to taste really good once we're done adding all our ingredients. All right, so once that's done massaging, all I do is then I add my um, apple, which I just um, chopped up earlier. So you guys saw I had that gala apple, and uh, it was a big apple. So um, I'll probably save some of that as a snack that I can use, um, you know, in terms of eating that with some nut butter, whether that's peanut butter, um, almond butter, or cashew butter. So I'll have that extra um, apple left over. And then I also chopped up half of my cucumber and I'm just going to add that right into my bowl. Then I'm going to add my slivered almonds on top and my dried cranberries. So this is going to be a really delicious hearty salad and trust me guys it tastes delicious when you had all of these ingredients. And then I'm going to add a um, little bit of pepper, but I'm going to add that in my salad dressing recipe. So you could eat it just like this and it would be perfectly fine. But because again, I like this added flavor, I'm going to quickly make my um, mango salad dressing that I'm going to just sprinkle right on top of this. So for my mango salad dressing, I'm just going to blend half a cup of mango with um, the juice of half of a lemon, um, a dash of black pepper, um, a quarter uh, teaspoon or less of salt, um, and some oregano, and then two tablespoons of my extra virgin olive oil. And then all I'm going to do is just sprinkle that right over top of my salad. So I'm going to blend that together and then I'm going to show you the final results. So here is my blended um, mango salad dressing. Now I use the frozen mango so as you can see this is more thicker. If you want it to be obviously more liquidy you want to use mango that's at room temperature so that's not frozen but um, trust me this still tastes pretty amazing so all I'm going to do is spoon and again this is up to you when you're doing your Daniel fast. You don't have to make salad dressing. You could just like I said eat the salad with just the olive oil and you know the seasonings on there but again I like flavor so I'm just going to spoon this right over top of my um, kale salad with my apple and cucumber and then just mix it all up and that's our first recipe so that's um, our kale salad with mango dressing I hope you guys enjoy this one for our next three recipes I'm going to be using two these two items I'm going to be using the sweet potatoes as well as some quinoa and for the quinoa all I did was take one cup of dry quinoa I poured it in this fine mesh strainer some people call it a colander and then I just rinsed it off with some water if you don't rinse your quinoa guys it's going to taste bitter so I highly recommend rinsing off your quinoa before you cook it 
I peeled the sweet potatoes from earlier that you saw and then all I did was just chop them up and I rinsed them off and then to cook these all I'm going to do is put it in a Ziploc bag, add some olive oil and some garlic powder, shake that up and then I will show you how I'm cooking these two items. Now, in terms of these uh, sweet potatoes, if you wanted to make this spicy and like add it as like a side recipe on top of your salad or even, you know, make it part of like a breakfast thing that, that you eat by itself, all you need to do is just like chop up some onions and bell peppers and season it with some cumin, some black pepper and the garlic and you can cook that up and have that as a different meal. So just a little extra tip for you if you love sweet potatoes. All right, so let's jump right into showing you how I cook the sweet potato as well as the quinoa. All right guys, so I have a pot heating up with some oil over medium heat. And then I also have another pot with half a cup of coconut milk and then one cup of water. And I mix that together. This is for my quinoa. So to cook your quinoa, I use one and a half cups of a liquid. So I mix water with coconut milk. You could also just do veggie broth. And again, I'm doing this for a flavor profile. So I'm just gonna let this water come to a boil then I'll add my quinoa. The quinoa cooks, it takes about like 10 to 15 minutes, so you just have to watch it until all the water evaporates and then all you have to do is fluff it with your fork. Now, my potatoes pot is heating up and as you can see here, what I did was just put my potatoes in a Ziploc bag and I just tossed that with some olive oil and some garlic and I'm just gonna add that right to my pot. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a cover on this pot and let it steam cook for about 10 minutes. Then I'm at, after that 10 minutes, I'll start to like mix it around. But while it's steam cooking, I don't take the cover off. I just keep it on this medium, um, low, to, sorry, low to medium heat and just leave the cover on and it just kind of gets soft on its own and then I'll mix it up. So I'll show you what it looks like when it's all completed as well as the key one. All right guys, here are my cooked sweet potatoes. So after that 10 minutes, like I said, I just took the cover off and then I just let them continue to cook until they got nice and soft. If you want them to be a little bit more crispy and brown, just turn the heat up higher um, and just leave them on the fire longer. So that's really up to you. Same thing with my quinoa. Once all the water is evaporated, I just let it sit for a couple minutes and then I just use a fork and fluffed it so you can see that this is perfect. It tastes amazing. And now let's jump right into making our recipes with this quinoa as well as sweet potato. All right guys, so here is our quinoa in a bowl with some of that sweet potato. And then all I did was I drained the corn and the black beans and I rinsed them. And so what I'm going to do, and you don't have to do this, you could just mix this up and enjoy it like it is. But for me, I'm going to just take my black pepper, some cumin, and then a little bit of salt, and I'm going to just sprinkle that on top, mix it all together, and that's going to be our next meal. Also, if you remember, we made that um, amazing mango salad dressing earlier. If you're feeling adventurous, you could probably just put that on this as well to give you an extra pop of flavor, and that's your next meal. So here is the mixture all combined. Guys, I promise you, this tastes amazing. So make sure you add that pinch of salt, black pepper, and cumin. I'm just like, the flavor profile is through the roof. So hope you're enjoying these Daniel Fast recipes. Um, make sure that if you're liking it, to give it a thumbs up, like I said before. But this is your next meal. It's so, so good. So let me know in the comments down below if you're trying this and what you think of it. All right, guys. So for our next recipe, all I'm doing here is sauteing some onions and peppers and so I just cut up the bell pepper from earlier and I cut up a half of the onion so it's one bell pepper and a half of an onion and all you're going to do is make sure you just saute this down until the onions become translucent at this point is where they're going to taste pretty sweet so this is just a little stir fry and this is our next meal so all I'm going to add to this um, combination of onions and peppers is some black beans as well as some corn. So all I did with the corn um, was just rinse it, um, rinse the black beans from the can as well. And I'm just mixing this in to my 
bell peppers and onions and I'm, it's on the fire over medium heat. So to stir fry the onions and peppers, I just added about half to one tablespoon of olive oil. So I'm just gonna mix that up. And then the next thing I'm going to do is just sprinkle some seasonings right on top of that. And so for my seasonings that you see me sprinkle on here, I just um, had a mixture of cumin, some onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper, and salt. And the beauty of this is you don't have to add the exact same seasonings. You can just modify to your taste, right? So add your own unique spin on it. If you like curry powder, that's also something you could add in here. You could add that turmeric that I mentioned earlier. So I'm just stir frying these vegetables together in the pot. And it smells heavenly. Trust me when I tell you these recipes, guys, taste good. Because I know that if they don't have a nice flavor or it doesn't taste good, not only am I not going to be excited to eat it, but Kyle is also not a big fan of food that doesn't have a lot of flavor. So this is how you add that flavor. You mix all of these different ingredients and then you make sure you add some seasoning. So the next thing I'm going to do to this stir fry is I'm just going to add some of that cooked quinoa right on top and I'm just going to mix that in I'm going to turn this pot on low and just leave it for like a minute to just keep steaming and then I'll take it off and enjoy it and I'll show you the plated product which is like I said going to taste super amazing all right guys, so here is the completed product. You can see it's nice and hot. It's easy, that steam coming out of it, and it is yummy. So this is your next meal for your Daniel Fast. And so this could either be a Daniel Fast lunch recipe or a Daniel Fast dinner recipe. It's really up to you, but I tell you that it is so good and it's packed with protein, it's packed with nutrients and a lot of flavor. So I hope you're enjoying these recipes. All right, guys, so our next recipe is actually going to be a sweet potato, black bean, and quinoa burger. And for this, all I did was take one cup of the black beans and I rinsed it. I added one cup of that sweet potato that I made earlier. And then I also have one cup of quinoa, but I'm not going to add that in yet. And then for my seasoning mix, I just did one fourth cup of all my seasonings, which was, um, you know, the black pepper, the cumin, um, Himalayan pink salt, some onion powder, um, some garlic powder, as well as some paprika. I also chopped up one bell pepper and a um, quarter of a sweet onion and I just diced them up really small, put them in the pot with some olive oil and let that saute. So while that's cooling, because I'm definitely going to add that to the mixture, so while that's cooling, all I'm going to do is just mash up these black peppers. And I'm using a fork to do this because honestly, not everybody has a food processor at home. So we're doing this in a way that um, is a re realistic, right? I mean, I do have a food processor actually um, sitting right here on the counter, but I am going to just um, mash it up with a uh, fork. So all you're going to do is just mash up these black beans and combine it with your sweet potato so just gonna keep mashing and guys I'm sure this is gonna take me a minute to mash so I'm sure you don't want to, to be watching me mashing this for a minute so I'm just going to mash this and then come back when it's all mashed and combined so you can see what it looks like all right guys so here is my mashed up sweet potato and black beans and honestly you could probably just stop here and just make this into a burger patty but we just did all that work and we want a lot of flavor and we want something that's hearty so now i'm just going to add in my um sauteed onions and pepper to this mixture and then I'm also going to add my one cup of cooked quinoa. So you guys saw how we cooked that up earlier. So I'm just going to add this in here. Then I'm just going to sprinkle right on top of that my seasonings mixture. I'm just going to mix this all up together. 
And once it's all mixed up, guys, all you have to do is shape it into like burger patties and then we'll just cook it on the stove in a skillet and we'll have these little tasty Daniel Fast burgers that we're gonna enjoy. So I'm just gonna mix that up. Then I'll shape them into burgers, right? So um, all you have to do is just take like a nice scoop, put that in your hand, roll it into a ball. So let me just show you that really quickly. So in case you're like, wait, what do you mean make it into a burger? So you just take a nice scoop, put it in your hand, just like this, roll it together into a ball, then press down in the middle, and you have this really nice um, burger patty, and then you're just going to um, add some olive oil to your skillet, and then just fry it on each side. So it's not gonna take long, because remember, all of these ingredients are already cooked, so it's just gonna take you like a minute or two on each side. Um, if you're you know, not interested in frying on the stove, something else that you could actually do is just probably just put these in the oven and bake them at probably 375 degrees. So that's an option if you're not interested in putting it on top of the stove. So hopefully you're enjoying these recipes and you're looking forward to trying them. And so here are our shaped um, quinoa, sweet potato, black beans, onions, and pepper patties in the skillet. And again, like I said, it's just like one to two minutes on each side, and then you're gonna flip them over. And when they're all done, I'll show you what they look like. So you could put these on either lettuce leaf or you could add avocado on top of this after you're done cooking. Or you could even grill some portobello mushrooms and use those as burger buns and then just stick these little um, burgers right in there. And that was probably going to be something that's delicious. So just an idea for you as you're thinking about what you can do with this um, black bean sweet potato quinoa uh, burger. So guys, here is a sample of our completed um, quinoa sweet potato black bean burger. And you know, just when you're taking them out, they're a little delicate, so just be careful with your spatula. I actually left it for two minutes on each side because I like that nice brown crisp and then you just cut into it and then you just enjoy. And I guarantee you guys, this right here is delicious. So those were all of our exciting recipes for the Daniel Fast. Now let us know in the comments down below which of these Daniel Fast lunch and dinner recipes you're most excited about. Guys, trust me, they all taste amazing. I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more awesome content just like this. Before I leave you, I just wanna remind you you're only one prayer away. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.